cons about having um verizon you can build anything i think that's toxic like any i think it's really toxic like it's a red flag if your phone company lets you build things i think every phone company lets you build stuff honestly i don't know but um yeah i was gonna build it and thank goodness i didn't have to build it. i got it for christmas and it's one of my favorite gifts it's something that i use like every day one day Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. But if you're new, it's your girl Lex and I'm back again with another video. So if you could tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my 12.9 iPad Pro 5th generation. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, make sure you keep watching. But if you're not subscribed, make sure you stop, stop right now and hit that subscribe button also give this video a thumbs up so if you're new to my channel i do everything from graphic design story times art videos hair reviews videos on motherhood and everything else i have a 12.9 i bet okay, this is the latest edition this is the case that i have and this is the back of it so i'm going to open it up and show you this is what the back looks like with the case on and i'm going to actually take it out of the case so that you can see what it looks like without the case the front of it it's so lightweight i already love that off the rip and then this is the back of it with the two cameras and this is the lock screen and this is actually my digital vision board that i made and i'm going to talk about what apps and stuff i made it on when i get there so i'm going to just go ahead and unlock it really quick i love that this is you know uh face recognition instead of like my last uh, iPad video I did, I had the first generation and I still had the fingerprint on there. And I also have an Apple Pencil. This is the case for it. The sticker's coming off. I never had a case before. This is my third Apple Pencil. I had the, uh, the first gen and I actually really love the second gen more. As soon as you plug it up, it'll say Apple Pencil and you guys will see that on the screen recording. So starting off on the home screen is a picture of me. This was my birthday weekend. Looking so cute. Now with the app library that you guys just saw, when you swipe over really quick, it'll show you every app. I really, really love that feature. The first app you see is YouTube. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. If you guys are not subscribed, you already know the deal. Make sure you go subscribe to my channel right now. Next, I have this folder called Useful. This is my banking app, pretty self-explanatory. My camera, I love this camera. I'm not sure, oh, I'm, gonna say, I'm not sure if I can open it, but I can. I love these new iPad cameras, and you can put it on portrait mode on the front camera. Like, I really love this new camera. I was just so shocked that the iPad camera looks that good, but I mean, it is the newest one. So I shouldn't have been that shocked as I was, but coming from the first iPad Pro, to this one it was such a huge adjustment for the weight alone and then we got the photo booth like you know how they got for the max maybe one day i'll do this on my macbook but mm, i don't know let me know if you guys want to see that i had a canon camera connect app which i used to like uh upload my videos and use this as a live monitor sometimes uh just use it for uh, pretty much a bunch of different things I have a couple videos on my channel showing you guys what I used it for or used it for in the past, but I definitely still use it to uh, send pictures, uh, to save pictures from my camera to my phone and airdrop it that way right now until I get another piece to connect it to my MacBook. Uh, FaceTime books. That was the book I must have been currently reading, but this is my library right here. As you guys can see, I have, I think this is 11 books and they're all samples. So just an example of what it would look like this is a sample and the sample gives you a nice little amount certain books you might get longer previews next we have good notes which is in my top three of favorite apps it's a digital notebook app and it is perfect for all around anything if you're an entrepreneur a student whatever you need it for it's perfect so i'm going to use my planner notebook as an example so you can see what i did for january my january schedule is nowhere as busy as my February schedule my February schedule is super busy um, But I love that you can go ahead and import certain pictures like that emoji at the top next to it says my birthday month I got that from Pixar saved it as a transparent image and then imported it in just like I did the school books and the airplane And I just really love this template that I got from Etsy. Let me know if you guys 
want the template because it gave me three months worth of templates but I actually got it for 12 because if you keep swiping over it'll just keep adding the template in so that was like a nice little cheat sheet you know I don't have to keep paying for it, but I actually do want to buy um, more templates but for now this is the templates that I'm using and when I'm in this uh, app is perfect I had this app for three years I'm on my third iPad in like three years and you never have to repurchase apps if you use the same uh, iCloud login so this app has been perfect i have my school notebooks my youtube notebook my graphic details notebook i even have my trip to miami itinerary here i got two youtube plans ideas notebook i did not even notice that to just now one of these got to go i gotta merge them together but when i mean this is my top three favorite apps this is an app i literally use every single day next i have my contacts then i have a pencil planner app i'm not going to open this because there's nothing in it i just had tried to download a planner app before I got the Etsy planner or whatever. I need to delete that. I have my Blackboard app, my Kindle app with some of my school books on it, my Microsoft email, and that's everything within that app. I mean, within that folder. In this folder, I have all my games. So Tetris, I have racing games, Sonic game, Pokemon Go, Mario Kart, a Candy Crush, and episodes. I'm not going to open this and play each game because this video will be super long. Um, but they are pretty much self-explanatory, maybe except for uh, maybe episode. But it's just basically a game where you get to choose how you want certain events to go. I think it's pretty fun, and I love to play it on my iPad. Now, I used to play it on my phone ex exclusively on there, but now I love to play it on my iPad. Tetris and Mario Go is probably my favorite apps within this uh, game. Having an iPad make, really makes me want to play games on it. I think it's really fun, but I'm a gamer heavy on my MacBook. <laughs> like, I love playing um, The Sims on my MacBook. Next is my lifestyle folder. This is like Tumblr, Pinterest, Fonto, Canva, Pixar, and Photograd. I use Fonto, Canva, Pixar, and Photograd, and Pinterest. I don't even know if I said Pinterest. I use those more so for like my graphics, but I do use Pinterest to uh, make boards and stuff. So like, let me see. I only have two followers, but if I go into like my selfies, I'm saying, I actually got like a lot of engagement. Like, look how many people saw the picture. 2,000 people, 115 people, 2685. Somebody pinned it favorite it like you can see um your analytics like your stats so if i hit get started it'll show me how many impressions pin clicks and saved and who saved it so i do actually <laughs> use pinterest not just for graphics but just for enjoyment so that was that album i keep saying album and everything crazy that was that folder the next folder is my entertainment folder where it has like hbo max amazon prime video amazon prime netflix tiktok stars HBO Max and Star is definitely my two favorite streaming apps right now. Like, you cannot tell me they don't have everything. The next folder is an important folder where it has everything that, like, came on here. Like, the Sentence app, Mail, Magnifier, The Measure, Stick, uh, iTunes Store, the Tips, Voice Memos, and Find My iPad. The next folder is other. This is just other, like, miscellaneous things that came on the iPad. You know, like, Maps, Reminders, Podcasts, etc. You guys can see this. This is just stuff that came on, and I just wanted to put it in the folder. Google Chrome for when I want to put things like in desktop mode. I just love Google Chrome as well. My messages, Safari, Instagram, Procreate. The first picture, I'm not going to count that. Somebody I work with asked me to just show them like something really basic and they wanted me to draw hard. We're not even going to open that because it's like a mess. But this is my eye. The only thing I don't like with Procreate is that when you get a new iPad, your library does not be able to get like synced back into your new library so it always starts you with a fresh library if that makes sense so my last gallery i had over like 40 pictures i worked so hard i had worked from january 2021 to december 2021 so you can only imagine how much work was in that library but now that i got a new ipad again my third procreate library i'm back to square one of course i only had that one good looking picture but procreate is definitely in the top three as well then i have my music and i was listening to those blocking lists I haven't made a new playlist since 2020, so we're not even going to go into my playlist because I, I'm sorry, I think 2021 was my last time I made something, and that was early 2021, so it's definitely time to update my calendar, my photos, and my notes. Everything else on the right side of this doc is the apps I recently just opened. Wasn't that quick and fast? That was literally everything that was on my iPad. I want to know if I get into like the pros and cons. I don't know what would be the cons. I do have the cons. <laughs> I'm lying. So the pros of this is that it is so lightweight. Y'all, 
I still am thinking like coming from the first iPad Pro, first generation, I cannot hold it up with one hand like this. Like this is so lightweight. Now my brother has the 11 inch one and his is lighter than this, just by a little bit. But this is the perfect size. Like the only thing I don't have for this right now that I really want again, like my last one, I had a paper uh, like screen protector and that helps you to be able to write and make it feel like paper or draw on it and it feel like paper because iPads are super glossy so that could be a con they are super glossy and look first picture that pops up is a picture of Kalani when she was a baby and she's so cute it's precious <laughs> pros I love it I was going to bill it to my account I couldn't even imagine what the bill would have been if I did something that foolish <sighs> cons about having um Verizon you can bill anything I think that's toxic like any I think it's really toxic like it's a red flag if your phone company lets you bill things I think every phone company lets you build stuff honestly i don't know but um yeah i was gonna build it and thank goodness i didn't have the bill i got it for christmas and it's one of my favorite gifts it's something that i use like every day one day a condo could be is that it's pricey hence <laughs> that's why i did not buy it okay i don't buy none of my ips i just wouldn't have one it's like no nah, i would have bought the um one that i gave to my daughter that 2019 one because it was only 300 dollars. that's pretty affordable but that one that my daughter has is definitely more for kids this is like top of the line i love that you could turn it into a computer if you want i'm going to actually get the um the keyboard case the one that i want is like 70 dollars. So that's why i don't have it right now but i love this deck on case for my apple pencil because like i said earlier in the video this is my third apple pencil this is my first time having a second generation one though this is what the apple 2 pencil looks like up close i love this one way more than the first one because the first one it had like a tip you could take the top off and plug it in the bottom of your uh, iPad to charge it that way. And I was always scared it could get broke like that, sticking the end. I feel like that was the best thing they could do because I feel like it, they, they could get broken that way. Cons about this pencil versus like the first one is that the first one came with an extra tip. I feel like if this get worn down, which I doubt it will, then I'll just have to order another one. I think they said they like discontinued the extra tips because like people weren't noticing that it was an extra one. But I'm a person that thoroughly checks my box, so I don't even understand how people was missing that because it's always some extra in the box like if the airpods uh, underneath the airpod pros it's the extra charger and a lot of people were saying sometimes last year they, they were just discovering it was a charger at the bottom of the box like i don't know how people missed that but i mean i guess it's easy to miss at the same time but i wish it came with extra tips just in case you just never know um but i'm very happy with this ipad you won't be seeing another one on my ipad unless i'm doing uh, upgraded version, uh, updated version of this same iPad. I won't be doing a new iPad because I'm, I'm not upgrading no time soon. Like, I don't need another iPad. It's not that serious. Uh, but I love this thing. If you're thinking about getting in it and can afford it, get it. Do it. It's so worth it, especially if you're a student or entrepreneur or you just want to have something, something to take notes in journal. But yeah, that was just a few pros and cons about it. I love this thing. When I mean this thing is all like a lifeline this is like my bestie okay it makes me feel so complete and this is tiktok video with the sound like i feel like my life together because i don't have an ipad i feel like when i be saying people life together they be having an ipad and when i get one i'm gonna have my life together i feel like it's so true i feel like my life is like slowly but surely coming together because i got an ipad but that's all i have for this time thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and i'll see you all next time bye